Yesterday, President Trump visited the Capitol to discuss the ongoing efforts to fight the new coronavirus and its growing footprint here in the United States. As Vice President Pence, Dr. Anthony Fauci, and the other administration experts related in their briefing yesterday, we should expect the number of cases to continue to climb throughout our country. Fortunately, our nation was rated the best prepared in the world for this kind of outbreak, and we're continuing to scale up our response every day. My home state of Kentucky currently has eight confirmed cases. I applaud the efforts of state and local leaders who are working together with federal officials to proceed carefully and intelligently. Our public health experts are compiling the best guidance for individuals, families, businesses, schools, and healthcare professionals in one place. www.coronavirus.gov is the place to go. I encourage every American to read through the information, particularly anyone whose personal circumstances make additional precautions a wise idea. President Trump and senators also discussed potential policies to soften the economic impact of the virus. Over the last three years, we've built an historically strong economy for American workers and middle class families. We should take sensible steps to help that momentum continue, notwithstanding this, year, this new challenge. I'm glad the Secretary of the Treasury and the Speaker of the House are engaging in direct bipartisan talks on this subject. Congress has already provided billions in new funding to federal, state, and local health leaders. I hope we can bring the same bipartisan energy to any steps that prove necessary to support our strong U.S. economy. Now, it's been sad, but not surprising to see some of President Trump's Democratic critics here in Washington fall back on the same old predictable partisan attacks, even at a time like this. But across the country, where leaders are working together on the front lines, we've seen something different. I want to commend the Democratic governor of California, who stated on Monday that he'd been in close touch with the president and the vice president and appreciated their attention and support. Here's what he said. He said, everything that I could have hoped for, we've had a long, a very long conversation, and every single thing he said, they followed through on. That's the governor of California talking about the Republican president of the United States. He praised the administration's work on this and said, quote, it starts at the top. So clearly, Madam President, this does not have to be a time for partisan bickering. The American people know that. Leaders around the country know that. I hope our Democratic colleagues here in Washington understand the American people expect us to be working together on this problem. 